Alright, so this is a tutorial for uh, the attack chopper battle in uh, Peace Walker, uh, first ending and uh, any percent. So we're going to be going over uh, uh, your equipment basically that you're going to want to do for this mission. So your camouflage you're going to want is a DPM and you're going to want a cardboard box and you're going to want a Mark 22 pistol. Uh, this is going to be your inventory. Uh, if you somehow don't have Fulton 2 by the point in the run, like you somehow don't have Fulton rank 2, uh, you're going to instead have a uh, grenade um, in your inventory as well, because you have to kill the first four uh, soldiers instead of Fultoning them, because you don't actually have enough, you wouldn't have enough Fultons to do it. Uh, so, you're gonna want the box if you're doing the fastest strat. If you are not doing the fastest strat, um, you are not going to want the grenade, the Mark 22, or the love box, and you're gonna want Fulton Rank 2. So, it's gonna look pretty similar to uh, what was before, just with a couple things removed. Alright, so to start off, uh, you're going to want to equip the smoke grenades pretty much right away. And then after you equip them, you're going to throw them at uh, those guys over there uh, that are standing by the cliff. So. You don't have any supply markers. Are you going to have enough ammo? Maybe you should pull back and reorganize things first. And you're going to want to run up to them, and you're going to Fulton all of them. I mean, not Fulton. You will Fulton, but you're going to slam, CQC slam them into the ground. So all four of them. So you're going to do the combo, basically. Then after you slam them all, you're going to want to crouch. Um, this is so that the chopper doesn't spot you. Uh, if you are standing up at any point and the chopper is looking at the battlefield and sees you, you will get caught no matter what. And it's also the same if you are if you are crouching but running, like run crouching I guess, uh, they'll spot you. As long as your camo percentage is not negative, the chopper will not see you. Um, but unfortunately that means that you can't actually move very fast while he's surveying the area. But once he goes away, you can uh, go faster. So you're going to Fulton all of these guys. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. And now you're going to want to position yourself around here. This is where you want to be positioned. And you're going to switch to the cardboard box. And then when you have the cardboard box, you're going to go over to the Mark 22. And you're going to wait for the chopper to drop down back up. Alright, so he's dropping the back of units. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, as they fall down, you're going to want to mash R1 to bring out your uh, gun, and you're going to hold up all of these guys. Now, there is a chance that uh, one will get away. Um, and I did this on purpose. Uh, if they get away, your best option is to wait for the helicopter to uh, actually start flying away so you don't get affected by the wind. And then you're going to shoot him and just knock him out, basically. That's what you're going to do.
view Fulton uh, two waves. So the first wave that was on the ground at the start, and the second wave that uh, comes out from the helicopter. You're going to want to grab uh, a Fulton um, ammo refill. There's one here, and then there's one near the tree uh, down where I was holding up the guys. So you're going to want to get a refill of Fultons. And you're going to do it at this interval because otherwise you won't have enough to get everyone. There are 20 soldiers that you need to get. And so you kind of need to you need to do your full and refills at exact moments, otherwise uh, it will not work. And you really need these twenty soldiers. And this is a different strat. So if you don't feel comfortable doing the box strat, um, you can do this one. Basically, it's the same idea as the start. Uh, but you're going to be doing it as they're coming out of the chopper, so I'll show this one off. This can be kind of tricky. So right here, if I was doing a run, I would have to restart, start from the beginning. Uh, there is a safer strat you can do. Like I didn't actually intend for this to happen, but I guess this helps as I can explain something. So uh, if by any chance this happens to you in a run, or you're not good at either of the strats, there's a way you can do the second one um, and have it be really, really safe, but it's technically slower than uh, any of the other versions, so uh, I'll show that off. I did say uh, earlier that the helicopter can only spot you if uh, um, you're in the red for your camo. And that is true, but sometimes, well, that's what we think is what the chopper does. We don't really know how its sight works, and as of right now, there's not really a way we can figure out, but uh, most, it's most of the time he does not see you if your camo is higher than zero. However, there is a small chance that uh, something crazy might happen, so uh, sadly there's not much we can do about it. Destroying the chopper uh, is much slower. Uh, now theoretically, um, the box strat and using that is actually faster than uh, the other strat, which is waiting here and CQCing and all and full time that in the swing. Uh, 
the box strat is theoretically faster, but um, the way the helicopter moves around the arena and whatnot is random, so uh, the time save is actually like 100% pretty much theoretical. Uh, but if you get good luck and you're using the box strat, you're going to save a lot of time over getting good luck and doing uh, CQC strat. Momentum recovery helicopter is complete. Okay, so once you reach three Fultons, um, this is where you're going to want to go for your next and uh, final Fulton pickup. There are going to be helicopter. two more soldier drops and uh, some more soldiers and they're going to be equal and so it works out perfectly. Um, now an example of bad luck you can get uh, that can kind of really screw you up is there's actually another place that the helicopter can drop soldiers at. And that's all the way over there. He can drop uh, soldiers where it threw that smoke grenade. Um, it's very rare that he does that, and uh, he'll never, I've never seen him do it twice, and him even dropping them over there is a rarity. But if you're doing the box strat, and you notice that he's dropping them off over there, uh, you're gonna have to get out of the box and just throw uh, smoke grenades over there just to stun them, and then get there as fast as you can, and uh, CQC then folds in the wall. Once Miller says that line, uh, that's got to be the leader, uh, can you take him down? Basically, you're going to want, uh, you are going to want to get out your law, and you're going to wait for the helicopter to come into your view, and you're going to shoot and kill the uh, pilot of the chopper.
um, and with all the soldiers that you need from this, you'll be able to continue your run. So uh, I hope this help. This helps. Uh, if you have any questions about the chopper battle or uh, really anything else in this run, um, you can message me or you can message Valkyrie. Uh, you can talk to anyone really. Talk to anyone about the um, in the Peace Walker community and or active people in the community, and they should be able to help you out with this fight.